morning, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to school on this Wednesday. Oh, a wonderful Wednesday it is. The 30th day of November in the year 2016. The last day of school in the merry month of November. Merry month of November? That doesn't sound quite right. Anyway, <laughs> the last day of school in the month of November. Anyway, I hope your day's off to a wonderful start. Sit back now, though, because here, yes, they are here. Your morning announcements. Uh, today is a nine, day nine schedule. Please follow that day nine routine. Uh, today is the last sort of day of this week of uh, festivities regarding the National Day, but today specifically is, is recognized as Commemoration Day. So in recognition of the UAE Commemoration Day, there will be three events today. By the time you watch these morning announcements, the first one will have already occurred. Uh, the first, uh, the UAE flag will be lowered to half-mast at 8 a.m. Across the country, flags are being asked to, to be lowered to half mast. Uh, at 11.30, we will observe one minute of uh, silence as announced by Mr. Torres. An announcement will come across the PA. Students are asked to kindly stand respectfully and just uh, bow your heads or, or as you just be quiet as you, as you like, stay in your place. But again, for one, min one minute of silence and commemoration of those who have lost their lives fighting for this great country. Uh, and then finally, immediately following that one minute of silence, the flag will be raised uh, to full mass. And again, that's occurring across the country and uh, the UAE National Anthem will be played. Again, those uh, events occur at 11.30, the one minute, followed by the flag raising and the National Anthem. So please uh, stay tuned for that later this morning. Uh, remember, there's no school tomorrow in celebration recognition of the National Day. Uh, again, so students and staff, for that matter, enjoy a three-day weekend. Uh, no school tomorrow on December 1st. And welcome to December, by the way. All tennis players, all tennis players, please come to the athletics office at lunch today to collect your tennis shirt. Again, that's tennis players, Mr. Carter's office, Ms. Trotter, Mr. Trotter's office at lunch today. You know, our middle school boys football team played their first, uh, played their hearts out during their first game uh, earlier this week. And uh, the, uh, where did I go? Okay. Uh, they were pitted against a very well-established and organized GWA team. Our boys battled relentlessly throughout the game, but failed to put the ball in the net this time. Uh, our boys took multiple positives from their performance, supported each other, and are eager to play again on Sunday uh, with a renewed sense of eagerness. Best of luck, boys, in your next football match. Again, attention all Roots and Shoots um, and Million Solar Stars members, Roots and Shoots, Million Solar Stars members, we need to see you at lunchtime today for a very short five-minute meeting, very short lunchtime today for some very exciting news. Please come quickly to Mr. Hall's room, number 1104. You do not need to bring your lunch, but you do need to be there. Again, that's today at lunch. Thank you very much. We're looking forward to seeing you today. The pitch will be completely unavailable today. Thank you again for your patience and flexibility with that. The pitch rotation will resume again next Sunday on December 4th. Now, there's, uh, there are uh, rugby players, should be rugby players down there practicing today at lunchtime. If you want to go down and watch, please help yourself. I know some of the PE classes are heading out that way. So feel free to sit out on the steps and enjoy watching the rugby players practice. And that's during lunchtime today. Uh, we want to do a little bit of a dress code reboot today. Starting Sunday, we've had a lot of dress down activities this week. Remember, this is a PE shirt. This shirt can only be worn two times. It can be worn anytime in PE, so that's the first time. Anytime in PE, this shirt can be worn. And also on Thursdays, this can be worn, no problem. But students, we ask that during the rest of the week, Sunday through Wednesday, you wear uh, either the boys, you're going to wear this uh, beautiful UAS polo shirt. Woo! Anyway, that's the U.S. polo shirt. Of course, as you know, girls, of course, you can wear this version of the U.A.S. polo shirt. And again, uh, we need to reboot that uh, dress code. We've had a lot of uh, fun activities this week wearing the colors of the flag and uh, dressed down a little national dress yesterday. But again, beginning Sunday, students first period in the morning, if you're wearing a P.E. shirt, you're going to be sent to the office to change. So please put on those polo shirts. Let's get dressed in our, in our regular uh, blue pants, for that matter, shorts and blue pants. Uh, again, that uh, we need to get back in the tra uh, back on track with our dress code. If you want to wear a hoodie, a regular UAS hoodie, those can be worn at any time. The sports hoodies for a specific team, say swim team or basketball, whatever the case might be, those specific sports hoodies can be worn on Thursdays only also. So thank you for your cooperation with that. Again, that reboot begins on Sunday with our dress code policy. I want to pass along uh, congratulations to our students who were recognized on Monday evening for their positive participation in the fall athletics and activities of golf, swimming, academic games, and volleyball. 
Award winners uh, in swimming, uh, middle school boys swimming, the MVP was Jonah Bainbridge. Coach's award winner was Joe Salem. The middle school girls swimming MVP was Yasmin Rabah, and the coach's award winner in swimming girls was Amina Abdul-Jalil. Middle school boys volleyball MP MVP was Niles, and the coach's award winner was uh, Sandro. Uh, middle school girls volleyball MVP was Jade, and the coach's award winner was uh, Aria. Uh, JV Academic Games MVP was Vincent De La Cruz, and the coach's award winner in uh, Academic Games was Amoy. So I want to wish all of those students congratulations and all of the athletes and for the, for the uh, participation in athletics and activities in the fall. Also want to congratulate the uh, Arabic department and all the wonderful students who participated in the awesome Arabic assembly on Monday. Really, really an awesome show. I want to pass along our congratulations uh, to those students who are on the stage reading the poems and all that kind of stuff. It was sensational. So to all these students, we want to pass along one of these. Congratulations to all of those students uh, that were in part participating in those events. Happy birthday wishes for today. There aren't none. They ain't going to have no birthdays today. So, But for Saturday, December 3rd, want to pass along uh, happy birthday wishes to Anud in grade 6 and Mr. Beam in the Who's the Art Teacher. So let's pass along happy birthday wishes to these students. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday, dear new to Mr. Beam. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. That's all I have for today. I do hope you have a wonderful Wednesday and a wonderful weekend to boot. Take good care. We will talk with you later.